The total tax contribution report, which forms part of the Mobile Industry Transparency Initiative, analyzes taxes paid by telecoms operators and its impact on the industry and society. Bemoaning the overburdening of taxes on the telcos in Ghana, CEO of the Chamber, Ken Ashibi, called for the government to reduce the electronic levy, popularly known as e-levy, to 0.1%. According to him, the tax is retrogressive in nature and should be structured well to make it affordable and easy to pay. And already, if you look at the fact that government had projected 6.9 billion, had had to revise it to 600 and something million, and that has not happened. It's because the elasticity of demand for uh, you know, the service is, is, is that elastic. So if you really want to let people, and the way we have structured uh, e levy is very regressive. It impacts the poor as high as it impacts the, the, the rich. So if you really want people to be able to pay this, then they should not think about it when they are, when they are paying it. The only way to be able to do that, and there's empirical evidence to show in other areas, if you take the Tanzania example and all of that, is to reduce you know, the, the incidence of the tax per capita. So if you reduce that to like 1.1%, uh, it's one for me, that's one of the things I've been pushing for. Mr. Shibi added that the continuous taxation of the industry could create unemployment by causing job losses in the mobile money sector. So then let's look at the issues of uh, mobile financial services. 2021, there was no e-levy. There was no e-levy in 2021. Uh, you know, so what we did was active customers at the close of the year, 17.9 million. Registered agents, active registered agents, 442,000. That are the number of people that have been employed by just the mobile financial services industry. And you know that when it comes to most of these agents, they are the ones that have been registered. But you have an agent that might have one or two or three other people who are working for them. So in terms of this number, this number is really large. So when you, con you, know, so when you don't pay particular attention to it, you know, you, and you do things that impact them, you then exacerbate the, already the, 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 the unemployment situation in the country. On the increment of data and talk tariffs, Mr. Shibi was quick to add that there could be increases in the near future considering the increase in cost of doing business. If you consider the fact that the cost of doing business have gone up, even the Water Producers Association have met to increase uh, the price of water. Even uh, you know the, the market women have. Um, I don't know uh, the uh, the uh, uh, media. Have you increased your advertising cost? I'm pretty sure you have also increased it. So naturally, what is going to happen? I'm, the industry has to increase prices because the cost of doing business has gone up. Total industry tax and other remittances paid by the telecommunication companies and other allied agencies to government for 2021 amounted to 4.3 billion cities. This makes up 7.7% of government's total tax revenue. It is feared that continuously overburdening the industry with taxes could greatly affect their operations considering the high capital expenditure in the industry.